So here we are. It's the entrance to the goo for a burger. So, how you feel, Rachel? Um, Excited? Yeah. Goo for Berger. Here we go. <laughs> Going down. <laughs> Top of Rui's pitch now, first underground pitch. And it's 27, 27 meters straight down. And Rachel's about to go. Yeah, okay. See you down there. And there she goes. First of the big pitches. And she says can haul. There's the can. And so we've now done 90 foot pitch, 30 foot pitch, 30 foot pitch, 90 foot pitch. Yeah. So we're we're on our way down. And into the famous meanders now. At the moment. At the moment we have a floor, but well, it won't always have a floor. Yeah. Quite a long section of traversing in a winding rift. How are you doing, Rach? So far, so good. Not too difficult, is it? Pardon? It's a bit slippery underfoot. It's very slippery. Quite a long way down as well. Who knows how far. Cheers, mate. That's all right. Okay. We're just connecting. Got two ropes here. Just connecting top of Garby's Garby shaft. It's 130 feet and one straight hang. Big shaft. Going down, down, down. Oh, Andy, I've got my glove caught. Okay, you've got your glove caught. Pull it hard, just pull it really hard. Lock me off. Pull it till it snaps. Like that. That is one big mother of a shaft. Together, this is Aldo's. Ah, big one. This, this is the, this is the last real pitch, and it's a biggie. Uh -huh. Hello, big yeah. echoey void. You all right to carry on? Of course. Of course, you don't have to. You know, we can just. You've been in the Berger. You can go out and hold your head high honourably. Don't get to Aldo's and turn back. Right, okay. It's yeah. scary. It's yeah. scary, but... That's what cows tells are for. That's what cows tells are for. That's it. And then you try and get yourself on this. That's it. Get yourself onto this ledge here if you can. Just get your bum onto the ledge and then you'll be fine. Yeah. That was the last big pitch. So where are well, but where are we now? Where are we? The Starless River. The Starless River. It's just like walking Cheddar Gorge at night, except it's not sky up there. It's just Ah. <laughs> Enjoying a sandwich by the banks of the Starless River. We're looking at just the most immense display of stalagmites. Look, look Very hard to get a scale to Salle Bourgeois. 
an amazing place. Don't you agree? I and the holy top was moving to and from our lips we drew the hallelujah. If you look around you now, what do you see? Absolutely Black. blackness everywhere. This is the great rubble heap. The cave is so huge at this point that just across this chamber you need a trail of reflectors. There's a boulder. Just across the, one chamber? Yeah, there's a boulder wow. in the middle which is as big as a house. Wow. And you end up going round in circles. Wow. Parties across this chamber in opposite directions and not seen each other. Gosh. It's so big. And what's it called? It's the Great Rubble Heap. Ah. Grande Bouli. Okay, let's go on into the blackness. Well, it's not someone who's seen the light. It's not a cry that's here at night. It's a call and it's a broken. So, this is it. The Hall of the Thirteen. Most famous cave chamber possibly in the world, certainly in Europe. Let's see why. Could be a long one. Mm. Off we go. Goodbye. Salle de Treze. Okay. Climbing back up. Oh. The Grand Ibouli. Don't know how many meters you rise coming up this section. But uh, I guess it's got to be maybe a couple of hundred meters to reflectors which are there to make life easier. Okay Rach, yeah. how are you doing honey? Oh, different story coming up isn't it? It is hard work isn't it? Still we're getting there. caving for about 10 hours I think just struggled up uh, quite a big pitch Garby's pitch Rachel found it quite hard work absolutely shattered absolutely shattered we're not out yet we're not out yet but we're on our way done some big pitches yeah. well the two but I tell you what the star of the day is this little boy on my ankle here um, well, that's it. We have returned. We have returned from the Gouffre Berger after 11 and a half hours underground. And we're not in the least bit exhausted, are we? I can't move. No, in fact, this wood seems like a really good place to lie down and sleep for some time. Someone's built a fire. <laughs> Okay. Mm -hmm.